headed to Green Valley Ranch in Henderson. I am going to play some face up pie gal, probably a little video poker, three card poker. I don't know, and anything else that's gonna make me feel better about being alone today. <laughs> Go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Wish me good luck, subscribe if you're new here, and I will see you when I get there at the table. game a little little bit more for some people who are still super confused about the game so I may be a little slower on this one just as I talk through some things with people um, but while they are getting set up I'm gonna go ahead and kind of go through some things so this little circle here whenever you see these at a table this is because it's for a progressive when you put your chip on you see it lights up and then they'll press a little button and then the light stays on to let them know you're playing the progressive this progressive right now for the mega is at $54,000. To get that, you need a seven card straight flush. Um, and then there, then it pays smaller for a full house or better. So what happens is um, there is some dice and if there's not a dice, there is a little thing, electronic counter on the table. And each seat on a pie gold table has a number whatever the dice shows or whatever the electronic number shows that's what seat gets dealt a hand first every hand is dealt regardless of whether there is a player seated at that hand for high out okay and so then it'll change every time on who's dealt first depending on what's what number shows up so each person gets seven cards including the dealer there's no community card so you're strictly playing against the dealer with those seven cards, you need to make two different hands, a high hand and a low hand. Your low hand consists of two cards. Your high hand is five cards. I promise you guys this game looks complicated and intimidating until you sit at the table. Once you play one or two hands, it's really very, very easy. So um, your high hand, your five card hand has to be higher than your low card hand. So in other words, if I have an ace and a king in my hand, I can't put the ace up top and a king down below because an ace is higher than a king, okay? And you'll see as we're playing. And face up pie gal, the dealer's gonna set their hands and then basically I just wanna set mine to beat the dealer's hand or at least push. In order to win money on this game, you have to win both the low and the high. In order to lose, you have to lose both the low and the high. Typically, this game is a whole lot of pushes, which is why it's not super volatile. So if you win one, lose one, it's just a push. All right, these two bets here, these are bonus bets that you're not required to play. This ace high, I typically don't play. It's um, when the dealer gets an ace high pie gal, that's when this one will play. Ace high pie gal, the dealer pushes. Sometimes that actually is to your benefit because sometimes you have pr like crap and the dealer gets an ace high pie gal that would have actually beat your hand and you're happy for it. But that's the house advantage on this game. And then this fortune bonus just pays basically for poker hands. So this one I will play. I don't typically win a lot on this, but I go ahead and play it because I mean, you're hoping to get these big um, seven card street flush hands or, and things like that. As long as you're playing this, you also will get a little envy button. You have to be playing $5 and you get an envy button. So if one of the your table mates for instance wins a big hand you'll also get a little smaller portion of that as well so if, for example if the person sitting here say got a seven card straight flush they would get eight thousand to one on their bet but i would get a five thousand dollar envy bonus because i'm playing it so i think um that pretty much sums up all the bets again as we're playing I'll talk through a couple of the hands. If you already know how to play this game, just fast forward through about maybe the, um, I don't know, seven or eight minute mark, and then we'll just be playing like normal. But like I said, I get so many questions that I really just, I really, really want people to understand A, what they're watching, and B, how to play the game, because it's really a fun game and I think that many people will enjoy it, but I know it can be intimidating. It was for me before I started. All right, guys, so I have 15 here, which is the table minimum. I, she already took my dollar. I'm uh, not gonna do the ace high pie gal, and I have five on the fortune bonus. There we go. So can 
you tell me the seat numbers again for people who want to know? Like, so in some casinos, they start one here, but in our casino, one, okay. eight, and 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, gotcha. eight. Okay. And so I like to wait with my cards until I see how the dealer is going to set their cards. Maybe I'll start looking at them. I see already the dealer has trips. So let's see. Let's see what I can do. If I can do anything, right? So I have a pair of sevens. I can see that already. Um, nine, ten, jack, queen. All right. So we're going to do that. We'll put this here. Oh, that's not a straight. What am I saying? I'm one card short of a straight. Here, I thought I was doing something good, which means that has to go at the bottom. Okay, so she's still going to beat me, but I can do that and beat her top hand. Okay, so that's why you need to look. So if I would have done this, for example, then I lose both of them, right? Because her jack beats my 10 and her trips beat that. So you want to look and see what the dealer does so you can kind of manipulate your hand. So long as your bottom hand is higher than your top hand, and a pair is higher than a high card. Another good tip is to always rank your hand while you're learning. Yes. Right. No ace high pie gal for her this time. 
again. Try, try. you hit one of these on uh, YouTube. I know. That's what I've been talking about all day. No one's ever hit a progressive on YouTube that I've ever seen. I came close over there. You should, it would it would have made for a very interesting win. So I had forgot to put my dollar up and I was about to turn my hand over and Philip's like, whoa, whoa, don't look at your hand. You didn't put your dollar up. And this was on three card poker. And I had the ace king of spades but I didn't have the third one. Oh. But I was like, if I would have got that, people would have thought it was rigged, you know, the way you stopped me. But what a great, like, yeah. knowing that he did it wasn't. What a cool thing that would have been. <laughs> and he caught me right before I made a big old mistake. I can't win this. Splitting them up, does that help? No, I don't think so. I've only got a pair of sixes, so those would have to go at the bottom. Be my high hand. I'm not missing any bonus. No. Nothing. I got nothing. Every other hand. So <laughs> oh, so I should bet big. <laughs> there we go. Don't let me talk to you. We're a bit bigger. <laughs> We're gonna martingale. Do people martingale this game? 
What is it? Martingale. I don't know what that is. Uh, where you keep doubling every time you lose, you double your oh. bets to try to cover your original bet. Uh, negative progression. Yeah. That's what I've been told. I've never heard of it. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. They do. That's why they put maximums. Right. You can only get so high. All right. 13. And she would play a different seat and she would <laughs> to a different seat. It's interesting people's superstitions. How did it work out? Uh, oh no, you got me again. Um, I have two pair, but you have two bigger pair. Well, I can do that. There we go. Either way, you can push. I can push. <laughs> I mean, she wasn't losing and she was betting big, you know. She, she was betting like a couple hundred on the bonus bets and then about 500 on the regular. Too many hands, I will switch spots. Really? Because I know a bad one's coming. Oh, yeah. Right. No matter if I keep getting hands like this. I know. I got trips though. Right. So that's a that's a plus. First bonus. one with me. I can get up high now. One time. 
together so that way we can beat both of his.
There's really nothing I can do there. So that's just a loss. And when you're losing, you don't have to set your hand. You can just turn them over. Like I said, I just do it just to make sure I'm not missing anything. That's a good idea. It's easy to miss these. Like, it's very easy to miss straights and flushes. Yeah, that's not a King High Pie Gal. That's the best Pie Gal. I had an Ace High Pie Gal. <laughs> Jack 90. off the table thank you guys so much for watching i really hope that this helps you understand the game a little bit better maybe um take out some cards deal yourself seven cards and maybe also you know play along with us and see if you can manipulate your cards to beat the dealer it's a fun game i promise you guys if you just sit at the table it's way easier than you think thank you guys i'll see you on the next one bye